Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today we're going to learn how to play some rockabilly lines on the U-Bass. So if you like videos like these, please hit the thumbs up below, consider subscribing and becoming a patron. Alright, so let's jump into these bass lines. So first of all, we're going to have to learn a technique called slap, but this is taken from upright bass, not electric bass. So instead of playing with our thumb, we're just going to slap the strings with an open hand, like literally a slap, right? So now that we've got that idea, we're going to be playing notes and we're going to be slapping in between doing the backbeat. And basically what I want you to do first is get the notes down in the line. Then we're gonna go back and we're literally gonna add a slap after every single one of them. And then a couple places we're gonna add a double slap where we hit twice. All right, so first let's learn the notes in the first line. So we're going to play the 3rd fret on the E string, the 2nd fret on the A string, the 5th fret on the A string, the 2nd fret on the D string, the 3rd fret on the D string, the 2nd fret on the D string again, the 5th fret on the A string, the 2nd fret on the A string, and that's our whole pattern. So we're going to play that pattern one time, and then we're going to play it one more time. So two times total. Then we're gonna move every single note down a string. And when I say down a string, I mean physically down, up in pitch. So if that's confusing, I'm gonna go through it real quick so you get the idea. Third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, fifth fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, third fret on the G string, second fret on the G string, fifth fret on the D string, second fret on the D string, and that's it. Then we're going to move back to our first pattern and do it one whole time. Let's try playing it together. We're going to play the first pattern two times, move it down to the second pattern one time, then back to the first pattern one time. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to go to the 5th fret on the A string, the 4th fret on the D string, the 7th fret on the D string, back to the 4th fret on the D string, okay? And then we're going to go to the 3rd fret on the A string, the 2nd fret on the D string, and then the 5th fret on the D string, and then back to the 2nd fret on the D string. And then we're going to close out our pattern with this little walk up. So we're going to go 3rd fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the A string, 3rd fret on the A string, 4th fret on the A string, 5th fret on the A string. Now we're going to go down to the open E string, 1st fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the E string, and we're going to end on the 3rd fret on the E string. And that's all of the notes. Alright guys, now that we have all the notes down, we're going to put a slap in between each one of them. So that's like 3rd fret on the E string, then slap, 2nd fret on the A string, then slap, and so forth. So this is just the second step. We'll add the double slaps in a bit. 
So when I'm slapping the strings, it really doesn't matter how many strings I'm slapping. You just want to slap hard enough for them to barely bounce off the frets. And then with the other hand, I'm muting in between so that strings don't ring out if I accidentally hit one like that. So if I have my hand over it, just touching the strings lightly, not pushing down on the strings, but touching them, then that'll make sure that the slap will just have that dead percussive sound rather than a note ringing out. So let's do this together. Third fret on E, slap. Second fret on A, slap. Fifth fret on A, slap. Second fret on the A string, and slap. So now let's play the whole pattern together since you know the pattern now. One, two, three, four. and so forth. So we could go all the way through the pattern like that, but if you can do it with that one section, then you're good if you know the other notes. So now that we've got that down, let's talk about the double slaps. So I added a couple in just in random spots to kind of let you know that you can add them in when you want to. Just use your judgment about if you're doing too many of them in a row or anything like that, and just try to make them sound natural and feel natural. But you can also throw them in where I threw them in in the piece, you can throw them in a little more than that or a little less than that if you don't like the sound. So all you're going to do there is slap twice like that after a note. So you play a note and you slap twice. Now the only thing about that is you have to do it a little bit quicker, right? And then we're doing a triplet there. So you want, if, this, if your beat is going like this, you want to split it into three equal parts. Triplet, 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 note, slap, slap, note, slap, slap, right? Note, slap, slap. Note, slap, slap, note, slap, slap, note, slap, slap, note, slap, slap. We don't want to do that many. That's a little overkill. But as you can tell, I put it in the second measure after beat one. So that would sound like this in the pattern. Right there. So that's third fret slap, second fret slap, fifth fret slap, just of our normal pattern. So the third fret was on the E string, the second and the fifth were both on the A. Then we get to the second fret of the D string, still a single slap. Now we're gonna play the third fret on the D string, and we're gonna do that double slap after it. Also, with the single slaps, they're gonna be in a swung rhythm, which means it's kind of like you're going triple lit, triple lit, and just hitting the part where you say trip and the part where you say lit. Triple lit, triple lit. So that means the slaps will be on the lit, and then when we do the double slap, we're doing it on pull lit, slap, slap. So hopefully that's not too confusing. I'll give you an example. Here's the single slap, triple lit, and here's the double slap, triple lit. All right, so now let's play the pattern with that one double slap after the third fret on the D string. One, two, three, four. All right, and that's it. And here's the second line in the video. So you get the idea on this, that basically if we're still hitting a note and then slapping after it, this time we're doing on quarter notes, note, slap, note, slap, evenly spaced, right? And then adding triplets on certain places. So. First, we want to learn the notes again. It's just this little walk down on the A string. Seven, five, three, two, five, six, and then we're back to seven. So just listen for that rhythm. There's a little bit of syncopation on uh, the second fret on the A string. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and on one. So we do the same walk down and the same thing. We're just gonna have a different number of slaps the second time we do it. So now we're on measure 18, and on measure 18, we have some cool little fills. The notes would just sound like this. We're gonna do the seventh fret on the A string, then we're gonna do the fifth fret on the D string, back to the seventh fret on the A string really quickly. So we got seven, five, seven, 
And then we're gonna hit the fifth fret on the A string. So seven, five, seven, five. The next set after that, we're gonna do the seventh fret on the D string, the fifth fret on the A string, and then we're gonna go down to the third fret on the A string. Then we go to the fifth fret on the D string, the third fret on the A string, and the second fret on the A string. So we got. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four. And after we get to that second fret, we're gonna finish that measure by hitting the third fret on the E string. And the start of the next measure is the open E string. So that part. So those are the notes the first time around. The second time through, we do pretty much all of that. And then we add some notes at the end. And that's gonna be, once we get to the open E string, we're into the second ending. We're gonna play the third fret on the E string, the second fret on the A string, the open D string, the second fret on the D string, the open D string, the second fret on the A string, and the open E string. Now we gotta go back in and add the slaps. So we're gonna add a slap after each one of the notes. Um, the main notes, the really quick ones, we don't add a slap after and then we're gonna add a double slap after certain notes. So let's just go through this measure by measure and add the actual slaps that are in the part. So the first measure, we're literally just adding a slap after the first four notes. And that's the first two measures, by the way. So seven, slap, five, slap, three, slap, two, slap, five, six. And that's all on the A string. So let's do that measure together. One, two, three, four. And the second measure is almost exactly the same. We're just going to do a double slap after the first note. So here's that measure. So let's do that one together. One, two, three, four. And now we're on to measure 18. So this is the one with all those extra notes on the D string added to this. So this is what it'll sound like now. Seven, slap five, seven, five, slap seven, five, three, slap five, three, two, three. Now notice that last note that I played, I kind of sort of slapped into the note, but went through the string, if that makes sense. So that way I'm getting the slap of the string hitting off the frets, but I'm also getting that note to ring out. So that's a little bit tricky to do, you gotta hit it with enough force to where the string bounces off the fretboard, but you still gotta release your finger from the string enough to have the note ring out. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions about that, please leave that in the comments below. So that's the seventh fret on the A string, then we're slapping, then the fifth fret on the D string, then the seventh fret on the A string, then the fifth fret on the A string. Then we slap again. Okay, so now we slap, and then we do the seventh fret on the D string, the fifth fret on the A string, and the third fret on the A string. And then we slap again. Okay, and then we're gonna do the fifth fret on the D string, the third fret on the A string, and the second fret on the A string. And this time we're gonna do the third fret on the E string with a slap, that little tricky thing that we talked about a second ago and then we're just gonna hit the open E string. So let's play measure 18 together, and the first note of 19. One, two, three, four. Okay, so then after we do that, we wait a second, and then we come back in with the, which is slap five, six, seven. <laughs> And that seven is actually the first note back at 14 as we're going to it the second time. So then we play measure 14 through 18 exactly the same. And then we get to our second ending. So right where we hit that open and stopped a second ago, 
we're gonna play an open string, but we're gonna keep going. So this is measure 22 if you're following along on the tabs. So you're gonna play the open E string, then you're gonna slap the third fret on the E string, and your pointer finger is just coming down and slapping the string, but also going through the string so that it rings out. So then we've got the second fret on the A string just by itself, nothing crazy about that one. And then we're gonna slap the open D string. So this one's a little bit trickier to be accurate with. Okay. And then our last measure, we've got, and it's really, this is gonna be the second fret on the D string, the open D string. We're gonna slap the second fret on the A string, and then we're gonna play the open E string. So let's play measures 22 and 23 together. One, two, three, four. All right, and I just wanna make a quick note now that we've gotten through this, that you could do the whole entire line playing with the U-Bass vertically if you're sitting down by just resting the end of the U-Bass on your knee and doing everything the same way that we just did if you want it to look more like an upright. So you may have seen that I did that earlier in the video just for fun. This is really a just for fun thing. It doesn't really change the technique too much, but if you're more used to an upright bass, this might feel a little bit more comfortable for you. That being said, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna hold the bass like this as we play through it. So this is the second line from beginning to end with the repeat. One, two, three, four. All right guys, now that you've got this together and you can play it like this, there's only one more step, and that is to add the sunglasses. Maybe add a little grease to your hair. I didn't do that today, but if you wanna really be a rockabilly player, you might wanna do that. Get some tattoos, do all that stuff, and then just fire away. Just play like that. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to play a little bit of rockabilly on the U-Bass and learning this upright slap technique applied to this tiny instrument. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you'd like the tabs for this, please become a patron and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.